it's Monday and um, I have to admit that last weekend I really fucked up regarding to my diet. I was going so good like last week, I was really consistent with what I ate and everything. Well, kinda. But last weekend I had to work all weekend at like in the kitchen and I was just eating so much. Uh, so I kinda fucked up and I weighed in pretty heavy this morning as you saw. So. But I'm not going to bitch about it because I made a decision and I have to accept that it happened. So I'm gonna fix it this week because next week I will be doing something really fun and I have to be prepared. Anyway, let's get this week started. Okay, I'm starting off my week with some pin squats. Uh, this is session A of my program. I've got A, B and C. Like I have a problem with my squat where my, when I'm in the bottom position and I want to go up, my hips shift away or something. They are not in the position I want them in. So we are looking to fix that problem with pin squats. So pin squat is basically, you go down slowly, you leave the bar and the pins and you maintain your tension in the body and then you push yourself up again just pause it for like a second or two seconds and then do some reps of course my sticking point is in the middle of the squat and it's hard to get through it because my hips just shift away in the bottom and really sucks and i really hope this is going to fix it on to the next one this is the neutral grip dumbbell press this one is a little bit more focused on the triceps as well. Range of motion is a little bit bigger than with the normal dumbbell press because you're just able to get the dumbbell lower on your chest. Focus on maintaining a safe position with your shoulders. So just a little bit of an arch. Push your shoulder blades together and just get that weight up, you know. Uh, use a tempo, go down slowly, hold it for a second and then push it up in an explosive way. This is the... Su chest supported dumbbell row the chest supported makes it easier to not really swing into the weight so uh, focus on like not swinging into the weight just keep your body to the bench and really make a full range of motion and then hold it for a second if you are at the top position and go down in a tempo again really controlled and just do Every exercise you do really controlled. That's the most important thing. It's about training the muscles and not the ego. So a tempo is very important. Then this one, this is a Mio set. Um, it means you're doing as much rep as you can. Then take like three to five seconds rest in between and do again as much reps as you can until you just feel your third rep. So that's what I did. I did like 15, 4, and then th 3 or 2 reps. Uh, this this Mio sets burns like crazy. So if you want to go finish your, finish your workout or set really quick, just use Mio. It's insane. Then this one, I really love this one. This is the half kneeled lat pull down. This is a lat focus as well. Um, how can you make it lat focused? Well, that's by bringing your elbows in your side and not behind your back just in your side and, your, and with your hands at the bottom position it's a neutral grip so I always like twist it in so I start off with overhand like horizontal if that makes sense and then when I go down I move my hand in a vertical position I hope this is how you pronounce everything but again hold it at the bottom position and go up in a tempo Everything is controlled again. Last one. I really like this one. This is the one arm reversed cable delt fly. For the rear delts of course. The big shoulder heads you know. Rear delts are really important for shoulder health. And if you, bi if you got big rear delts it's easier to squat low bar. It really is because like my boyfriend. He's struggling with his rear delts and he's also struggling with the position of his bar, uh, squatting low bar. So it really works. Uh, with this exercise, you just have to focus on keeping your arm straight and don't swing in the weight and go back slowly because the tempo is very important. That was it for today. Let's go to tomorrow. Hey, go back there. It's a sandwich. It's kind of. And it's a quick, beautiful, it's quick post-workout. It's a new day. 
it's session B. So it's time for bench press. My biggest tip for the bench press is really find a technique where you are able to put tension all over your body. It's not just getting down the bar and pushing it up again. It's about creating tension in every part of your body. You are flexing your abs, you are flexing your back, you are flexing your, your booty. Just everything. That's the biggest tip. Just create as much tension as you can everywhere. And just really squeeze into the bar. Really put your feet into the ground. And just create tension. And then the bar will go up itself. If you're lucky. And this exercise. Like this is a 6 second tempo squat. I can't count. So that's why it's not exactly 6 seconds. But it's pretty good for a power lifter. You know. 6 seconds. 6 reps. That's crazy. But what a tempo squat will do. Is it will help you create of course a lot of tension in your squat. But it will also help you to maintain a beautiful bar pad during the squat because you just have to or else you will be falling forward or backward or whatever so i really rec uh, recommend a tempo squat um, or any kind of tempo work on the squat bench or deadlift to create more tension in your lift a big tip for the squat is just while you're getting deeper and deeper squeeze the bar harder and harder in your traps that's a big tip for the squat i've been doing that for like two weeks now but I already feel a lot of difference. This is the unilateral, which means one arm or one leg or whatever, leg curl. So the lying unilateral leg curl. Very important is to maintain a plank position during this movement. So you are um, bringing your hip and your abs together. I don't know how to pronounce, really explain that, but you want to keep your hips in position. You want to flex your abs. So you're in a plank position and you just want to move your lower leg and really feel your hamstrings dying. Again, the downward tempo is very, very important. And it's also important to pause for a second at the top position. Uh, I'm not really doing it here as I can see, as I see now, but you have to do that. It's good to record yourself to see things like that. Okay, this one is amazing. This is the upper back pull down. What is the difference between a lat pull down and a upper back pull down? Well, with the lat pull down, you bring your elbows in your side. But with the upper back pull down, you bring your elbows behind your back. So you're bringing them more in like your arms are more in a line instead of in a triangle. Best explanation ever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not made for this. I'm not good with words. Sorry. And then the seated dumbbell curl with an external rotation of the shoulders. This one, like, you really use the full range of motion for this exercise. And bicep curls are also important for power lifters because the health of your elbow joint is something you should take care of. Because with the bench press you put a lot of stress on your elbows. And with bicep curls you can like make sure they will maintain healthy. And also who doesn't love a good bicep pump. In this exercise it's important to use a tempo again. Go up and go down slowly. And use a pulse in the top position and in the bottom position. Really stretch out your arms so you have the full range of motion of your bicep. And really go up as far as you can. Hold it, squeeze. For this exercise, you need to create a external rotation of the shoulder. How do you do that? You sit down, you bring your shoulder blade together and you bring out your shoulder. So most of the time it's just like a little bit in. But with this exercise, you focus on really bringing them out and you have a lot of stretch on the shoulder. If this makes sense. This is the long seated overhead press. Um, as you can see, I'm twisting the dumbbell. So dumbbell oh my gosh oh yeah mate um but i'm twisting the dumbbell so i can use a full range of motion so i'm bringing back my elbow in my side and I really go up that's a big range of motion you know and i'm sitting down like this for of course some core strength and also for more movement for my shoulder blades because normally you just sit down and your shoulders are against a bench or whatever but in this way you can really move your shoulder blades really freely again who doesn't love a good shoulder pump and that was my workout for today 
I, I, this might be my favorite workout. No, this is not my favorite workout. Forget I said that. Bye. Get off me. I want to work. Ah. Someone said that you should have your own YouTube channel. How do you feel about that? Yeah. You want your own YouTube channel, but you need to edit your videos yourself, okay? Perhaps with chicken, self-made guacamole, 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 salsa, spinach, I don't know. Ik ben aan het praten. Tomaat? Oh, nee, tomaat? Tomaat? Um, yes, perhaps, nice. And here we are at my favorite lift, the deadlift. This is a, supposed to be a tempo deadlift where I go up three seconds and go down three seconds. I'm not really doing it here. I'm sorry, General Richard. Biggest tip for the deadlift is find a position for your hips where the tension on your hamstring is the biggest. So really create as much tension as you can on the hamstrings playing with the position of your hip. And if you got that position, the only thing you have to do is Push your hips out like you're fucking the barbell. Keep that in mind. It's not a pull, it's a push movement because you're pushing your hips instead of pulling the bar. Then this is the three seconds down, three seconds up tempo bench. This one is killing. Like it's really weird to use a controlled tempo for a concentric movement because you're just used to using a explosive concentric movement that's the up movement but this is an amazing exercise for maintaining your bar pad and maintaining tension in the bench press and like i said creating tension in the bench press is the most important thing there is this one i have to combine my leg extensions with my bulgarian split squat so i'm starting off with leg extension with the leg extension you want to go up hold it for like a second and go down slowly and then you can go up in an explosive way. So I have to combine this with Bulgarian split squats. Also important in this one is to go down, uh, kind of controlled, so you're not falling down. You want to maintain like balance, and you can. It can help to maintain balance by really flexing your abs, really ma maintaining and creating core stability. So yeah. And nobody likes the Bulgarian split squat, so let's go on to the next one. Like literally, the Bulgarian split squat is the most hated exercise. Name another exercise which is worse than a Bulgarian split squat. I don't know. And this one is the high cable curl. I'm not doing it completely right here. You have to create a scapular pose, which means you're flexing out your shoulder blades. And you have to point out with your head looking at the cable, if you're looking forward, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is a great exercise for your biceps. Really squeeze at the top position and really flex out your whole arm again. This is an older video, by the way. That's why I'm not doing it right here. I didn't record a new video. I'm sorry I'm such a bad influencer. If I am. Anyway, this explanation sucked. Titties. Bye. Ooh, two hands. You pregnant? Oh, you pregnant? Oh. What do you think about Poosh? It's a little fat, weird cat. You are a little fat, weird human. You're a fat, little, chubby midget. Kunt. Come on. Yeah. Meow. What's in there? How do you feel about the movie we just saw? <laughs> Most of the time you get a crossover and a plot twist, but it was too obvious, so no spoilers, but I give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, same. Very obvious, but uh, still fun to be at the cinemas again after like 6 months. Slap lekker. Clear. Oh. <laughs> Good night, my friends. Toast brood is lekkerder. Toasted bread is 
better. Dick. Hey, look, shirt. Nice shirt. Nice shirt. Nice cock. Thank you. Waarom gelijk is dit weg? Omdat je dik bent. Apple Stroop. Big belly. Dat is een beetje raar. Sheesh. Ah. Oh. Die is schattig. Hey. Oopsie. I just ate this. Coming back from the gym. It was pretty good. And now I'm in like in a hurry for work. So bye. Thank you for watching this video again. I hope I was able to help you out with some exercises I do and how to do them. Again, a good week and three weeks out from the bench press nationals and five weeks out from the nationals. Still excited and Monday I will be leaving my hometown. But you will see that next week. Goodbye. Have a nice life. Thank <laughs> you.